Howdy, Earthlings! Today we're diving into the world of light pollution, what it is and how we measure it. Turn off the lights and let's get started. What the heck is light pollution? It's the excessive, misdirected, or obtrusive artificial light from human-made sources that interferes with our ability to see the stars and celestial wonders. These sources include streetlights, buildings, headlights, city skyline light, stadiums and arenas, and industrial facilities. These sources collectively turn our once dark skies into a muted version of their true, awe-inspiring selves. It's like having a big cosmic dimmer switch that needs some serious adjustment. Now, how do we measure this beast? Scientists and researchers use a device called a sky quality meter. This portable instrument measures the brightness of the night sky in magnitudes per square arc second, which is a fancy way of saying, let's measure the brightness in this small chunk of the sky using magnitude as our yardstick. Apart from sky quality meters, satellite imagery is also used to measure light pollution on a larger scale. Satellites equipped with specialized cameras capture images of the Earth at night, revealing areas with high levels of light pollution. These images help identify problem areas and contribute to more effective solutions. Enter the Bortle Scale. It's like the Michelin Guide for stargazing. This scale, developed by amateur astronomer John Bortle in 2001, categorizes the darkness of the night sky from Class I which is pristine, no light pollution, to class nine, which is urban sky with severe light pollution. The higher the magnitude number, the brighter the sky, indicating increased light pollution. Now, how can you get involved? Citizen science is the way to go. Grab your smartphone and join initiatives like the Globe at Night Project. There are also apps like Loss of the Night that let you contribute your own light pollution measurements. Big shout out to the International Dark Sky Association, our unsung heroes in the quest for dark skies. They work to protect the night from light pollution and designate dark sky places around the world. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, smash that like button. Click that subscribe button for more content from Texas Dark Skies and ding that notification bell to get notifications when new videos are posted. Take care of yourselves, and then in the words of my favorite personal astrophysicist, keep looking up.